What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and Phil and I right now are in the car making an emergency trip down to uh, one of our friends, obviously EVGA, uh, because we are coming to the aid of a streamer, a small streamer that was just royally screwed over by a PC building company, and we intend to do right and put on blast those that both deserve being put on blast and being, I don't wanna say rescued, but yeah, let, let, we'll, just, we'll just talk about it. We interrupt this video to bring you a special message from iFixit. No, we interrupt this interruption with this interruption about new stuff from iFixit. We should even grab this card, but inventory sucks. Fix the inventory problems with iFixit. Whoa, don't drop it. Can't fix that with iFixit. Just kidding, yes you can. Wish you could take iFixit with you anywhere, but your pockets aren't big enough. Introducing the new Moray. And the new Minnow. Take them with you anywhere. So get iFixit for your loved ones, or just get them for yourself. First and foremost, let's make this extremely clear. This is not a drama piece. I am, I do not like drama, I'm not a fan of drama, but this is about a feel-good piece about us trying to step in and make something right that a brand uh, completely royally screwed over one of their ambassadors. So you guys have probably already heard about this um, by now if you haven't. This is kind of a big deal and, and there's a bunch of reasons why I'm getting involved in this and I'll rationale this uh, in a moment. I'm referring to Kia Pia, who's a small streamer but an ambas uh, ambas ambassador for Artesian Builds, which is um, a an SI of some sort. Uh, they're, they're just some young dudes that are building computers and such. But anyway, moving forward. Um, they do a monthly giveaway amongst their ambassadors. And I'm not gonna go into full detail of all the stuff that was said. What I will do is put a link down below and I will remember to put the link below because it's important to see the way that they screwed her over out of her winning draw for being an ambassador. To paraphrase, they didn't like her following size. They didn't like the fact that she was only an ambassador for three months and then basically publicly ridiculed her and made fun of her following size and then gloated and cheered about the fact that they uh, withdrew her winning bid and redrew again. They even made some, some weird comments in there about like, well, I bet she's international, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh no, she's not international. And then they cheered over that for shipping costs, which I mean, that's fine. It's very expensive to ship international and deal with um, VAT taxes and all that sort of stuff. But I digress. The point of a giveaway is to show appreciation for your ambassadors. Now, if you're only gonna show appreciation for the ambassadors that hit milestones that you want hit as some sort of an incentive, there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to publicize that. Technically, by her meeting the requirements at which they set forth and them changing it last second and redrawing is actually illegal in the United States. It is legitimately illegal. And depending on the state, they're, well, they're California, they're up in San Francisco, she's in Texas, there's two states involved there, what they did was not only shady, but was against the law. So I wanna point that out first and foremost. If any of you out there are uh, legal experts in that and would like to pursue it, there you go. There's, that one's handed to you on a platter. Second of all, it was about the comments that they were making and the fact that they just were not happy about the site and completely illegitimizing her because of the fact that she is not a big streamer. And you know what? That's fine. We all, whether, whether you're, you know, middle of the road or, or like we are, I mean, 3.6 million is a lot, but not a lot, honestly. Or you're Mr. Beast with, you know, millions and millions, tens of millions of subs. We all started at zero and we all had to crawl through the ranks and such. I myself have been screwed over many times when I was smaller. I've had brands tell me to pound sand and all that. And then, you know, fortunately I stuck with it. But what they did to someone like her could absolutely have made her want to quit, which is wrong. And seeing the way that she was being treated made me think of my own daughter who's at that age now where she's really trying to decide if she wants to get into streaming and stuff when she's older. And I imagine her being excited about something and then going, oh my God, I want a computer, which is major in this uh, climate, in this economy they're in right now. And then be told, no, you don't deserve it because you're not big enough for some made up bullshit rule that you want to do at the last second. Just completely pissed me off. And I figured, what I could do to make this right is one, step in and give her a quality PC that's built by competent builders that won't have any sort of longevity or reheating issues, which they're actually kind of known for. And second, putting the company on full blast. Now, some of you right now are already going, but Jay, you're mentioning their name and stuff and that's there's no such thing as bad advertising. Yes, there is. There is absolutely bad advertising. And you know why I'm putting them on full blast? Because when this started hitting the Twitter sphere and, and, and the Reddit sphere and all that and started getting traction, 
because I woke up this morning to all this that had already gone down apparently. You need to know that there are brands you need to avoid and this is one of them. And I wanted to get out ahead of this and, and make sure that I could ma make her day better, send her a computer and just keep her momentum going. And which is funny because she's getting tons of follows and stuff right now, which, you know, I don't know how many of those are genuine versus how many people are just jumping on the hate train for artist, our artesian builds. But yes, we've mentioned their name and I think it's important that you understand to stay away from that brand. Second of all, um, the amount of people that have reached out to me already, our own vendors, and said, what do you need from us? Whatever you want, you'll get it so you can build a PC for her. Fortunately, we have just about everything we need already in-house. We are running down to EVGA to pick up some parts though because as you know, GPUs are very difficult to get a hold of. And so they've graciously decided uh, last second to supply us with some stuff that we need to build her an amazing system. But the biggest thing was their apology. The reason why I'm putting them on full blast is, is the CEO's half-assed apology and didn't follow through with the giveaway because they had already redrawn, which meant they were giving that computer to whoever they redrew and then basically they were like, oh, we're sorry, we did something bad. Uh, tell us how we can do better. That's, that's not an apology, that's not. No efforts to make it right whatsoever, and it was just um, you know, a, a PR apology that, let's face it, if they hadn't apologized, they'd be ripped up for it. They're being apolo they're, they apologize, they're being ripped up for the half-assed apology. It's just a lose-lose situation. So anyway, we're going down to EVGA right now, we're picking up some stuff, we're gonna go back, we're gonna build this system. I ordered some mints to pack off Amazon because I have to be able to pack it properly to make sure it can get to, to, to Texas where she is. And uh, we've completely pivoted and changed all plans for today and even bumped the video going live today to tomorrow. So this video that you're seeing right now was today. It's the same day video, same day upload because of the fact that this was important to, to get out there and just take what was probably one of the worst days of a small streamer's life and flipped it into one of the best days they've ever had. And that is why I love doing what I do. That is how I take the community that I have spent a decade building and use it for good. Not about the drama, it's about the result. So one thing I want to point out too is we're actually almost to uh, EVGA's headquarters right now is the fact that the positivity train right now, like the hype train, is real with this whole situation. And a lot of people are saying they're going to send her stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Um, she's probably going to make out like a bandit in all this, which I hope that she does something either positive with that or pay it forward or whatever. Uh, she's probably going to get multiple computers and that's perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned. I said I was going to do it, so I'm following through with it. Um, I know some other outlets have picked it up and they're jumping on and wanting to send her stuff, which is great. I mean, I, the positive, it's so nice to see something positive come out of a negative like this when so many people just want to hyper focus on the negatives. And uh, it's just important, like I said, that people realize this in no way has anything to do with us trying to jump on this for our own exposure in some way because that, that, that couldn't be furthest from the truth. Um, this is just about leveraging like I said, the, the community that we've built to spread some positivity for once when everyone just wants to get so hyper-focused and hyperbolize on the negatives out there. So we're actually almost there. Um, we'll show you guys what we're gonna get in just a sec. All right, so here we are at EVGA's headquarters, like I said. We'll start off with the fact that um, they put together a bit of a package here. So this is one of their Z20 keyboards, um, one of their brand new mechanical keyboards. We've got uh, with that an XR1 Pro. Um, this is a capture card. We have no idea if she needs it or not, but again, we're just throwing together an awesome package for her since as she is a streamer. Um, Mouse-wise, this is the X17 mouse. You've seen these the Z20 and the X17 actually in some of our pre-roll ads um, for EVJ. I should have had them give us another set for me because my keyboard's looking real nasty these days. Anyway, moving forward. <laughs> because I'm doing AMD build, um, which I am putting a 5950X in, by the way. So uh, there's no CPU higher than that before going through Dripper. We're throwing in the new EVGA X570 Dark, which is an amazing, amazing motherboard in terms of overclocking and just build quality. Powering it, 1000 watt G6 power supply. Same exact one I'm putting on my personal build, by the way. And then graphics card, which I'm sure everyone is interested in. <clears throat> 3080 Ti. I'm pretty sure this beats anything Artesian builds could have quite literally just slapped together. So we're back at the studio. Here's all the EVGA stuff we just showed you, and obviously that's not a full system. So I mentioned 5950X, brand new in the box, sealed. Um, we haven't installed this one yet because I bought it for a project. <laughs> and anyway, I already had one, so I had two. She gets one now. We've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 right here. This is Vengeance RGB Pro SL. Uh, the important thing about this is it is XMP, or no, X, XMP and Ryzen. 
certified. So it will work with uh, Ryzen and all of its timings and such. So it has been certified to work, none of those post issues. For storage, I'm putting in a 2000 gigabyte uh, P5 Plus NVMe SSD. And to keep it cool, an IQ H170i Elite Capellix. So this is, remember, a 420 millimeter radiator. It's got three 140 millimeter fans on it. So definitely gonna keep things nice and cool if she wants to overclock it, be my guest. And then this bad boy right here, the 5000D Airflow, one of my favorite cases just because of the fact that you can fit so many components in there and not have a, an issue with part sizes. The big graphics card obviously needs to fit in there. So plenty of room for that. It's black tempered glass. We're gonna throw some RGB fans and everything in there. And uh, you know how we do. We're gonna go ahead and film montage the crap out of this. There we go. The J5000, it's 5000D, you know, obviously. But all the RGB and stuff. So we still have some setup we have to do on this before we're gonna ship it out to her. Um, ended up changing the front fans to light loop fans because oddly enough, like the RGB fans that come in the X version of this case don't work with the Commander Core for some reason. And then we have to figure out how to rotate the display. Because of the way that the dark board is set up with this 90 degree rotated socket, the display sideways. <laughs> That's why the RAM's over here, if you haven't noticed, which is really weird. But that allowed me to literally hide all of the 24 pin and eight pin EPS, which are all routed next to each other on this board behind this cover. I always said I wanted to do a build where I could do that and it would allow me to hide those cables, which is, which is why the only power cables you see on the front is for the GPU and then obviously the pump and then this one USB-C, which I had to notch the cover and then put a little grommet piece on there to protect it which I'm not happy about how this comes down and is visible, but you know what? Ultimately, it's a pretty kick-ass system, regardless. Then I gotta go through and do some stability testing, make sure um, that everything's acting fine under load. And then my Instapack that I ordered to pack this up safely and ship it. We did a video about how to ship a computer, if you guys are curious. It's a few years old, but it all still applies. That comes in on Thursday. There's no reason why I can't have this to her uh, on the way to her by Friday. So. Once again, a huge thank you to EVGA for allowing us to come and kind of raid their warehouse and use our connection to make this ugly situation better, which is funny. So many people, even in the hours that we've been working on this since we, I tweeted that, hey, I am gonna take care of you, screw those guys. The amount of people that have jumped on board um, is really good to see. The only downside is it could be really overwhelming for a new, you know, small new streamer to suddenly have this much attention and trust me, that can be negative as well. So everyone be polite, be kind um, to all the brands reaching out. We'll try not to overwhelm her with parts because that could cause a problem as well. But 
I'm glad I was able to do this. Like I said, my rationale for doing this uh, has everything to do with the fact of, you know what, remember your roots. Remember where you came from. No one started at any level. Everyone started at the bottom. And I like to be able to leverage our connections and my own parts and stuff in stuff like this when I can. I, I used the example of my daughter wanting to be a live streamer and I imagine how I would feel if a company treated her that way. Um, I don't necessarily enjoy seeing all the dog piling that's happening, um, but they kind of deserve it. That, apparently there's a bit of a track record there. Hopefully this is what it takes to maybe snap the leadership in that company, uh, you know, snap them back in line and, and, and have them be appreciative of the entire community, not have everyone feel like they should be grateful that here they are building computers and stuff, which is for them to fight over, which appears to be, oh, fun fact too, Intel made a statement about it. So it got bigger than I think they hoped. And you know what? They haven't been on social media from the time we mentioned this to the time I am done with this build in this, this video, which is probably the smart thing to do. Because at this point, no matter what you say, it's going to be twisted and manipulated against you. Just reset, check yourself, and uh, don't be a douchebag. It's the best way to put it. So Kia, I really hope you enjoy this PC. Um, it quite, was quite honestly built with a lot of appreciation for small streamers, medium streamers, large streamers. It is a community of, of all shapes and sizes. It is not only the popular get more popular by stepping on the small people. That is not the way that this works around here. Thanks for watching guys. I'll put a link to her Twitch down below if you feel like checking her out. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.